Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my everyday makeup. I did this video a while back, and if you missed that video, I'll have it linked down below in case you guys wanna see what it was before. But basically, this is the stuff that I use on a daily basis, and a few products that I'm trying to use. Like, I use this space to kind of put products in that get lost in my collection or new products that I still need to try. Even though for me, I'm the type of person that once I like a product, I really stick to it and I repurchase it over and over and over again. I have my holy grail products in here with a few new things. You get me? You get me. So I'm gonna go through each product. Hopefully this video isn't too long. I got pretty good feedback from my last one, which is why I decided to do it again. I don't know if I can do this every month because like I said, I don't change up my products too often but maybe every other month if you guys enjoy these type of videos. So hopefully you guys find this video helpful and let's go ahead and just get started. And also, I got bangs. Well actually, I cut my bangs. I just randomly decided to chop them off. I'm just not used to them yet, but I do kind of like them. I think I'll like them a little bit more once they grow out a little bit, but yeah, I got bangs and I don't know how I feel about them. Me. If you saw my last video, I just had this like three drawer little thing. It didn't have this little top section like this one does. Yet I got it at Home Goods. I think I mentioned that before. And this little thing I got at Home Goods as well. So I'm gonna start off here. All right. So this thing actually comes off from the top. First is my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. It's one of my favorites. I also picked up the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This is nothing new. I have three of the Maybelline Fit Me concealers. I have Sand light and fair and these are my favorite concealers. I have the Milani Tantastic Face and Body Baked Bronzer. You can get a nice kind of like champagne like highlight or you can use it as a bronzer or you can even like mix them. Um, the only thing I hate is that it has like really bulky packaging. I also have one of the e.l.f. High Definition under eye setting powder. I still haven't gotten a chance to really put this to the test, but I have used it before and I really liked it. I have two of the Hourglass primers. I have the Primer Serum, which is like my favorite, especially if you have dry skin. And I have the Mineral Veil, which I think would be better for like normal to oily skin. The e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. It looks like a lipstick, but it's an exfoliator and it really does a good job of like getting all that like dead skin off your lips. I have the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer. This is a very like citrus smelling moisturizer. I like to use it in the morning. The Dr. Jart, I think that's what it's called, BB Cream. I really, really like this. It's another little sample of it. It has SPF 45, which is always a plus. The only bad thing about this one, it's like in the shade light, I think. It's really, really pale. But I've still been using it with another product that I will show you in a second. I have the Garnier BB what is this called? The Daily Eye Roller. This is in the shade The Light. It's a sheer concealer. Like it just gives your under eyes a little bit of brightness and it feels really nice with that roller ball. I have this that I just used in my uh, Get Ready With Me. I used to have uh, the shade Pearl in here, but I switched it out for Opal. Opal just looks a lot better on my skin tone while Pearl, I don't know, I swatched it and it just didn't look like it would do much of anything. Um, I have two brow gels, the Benefit Gimme Brow and the Anastasia Clear brow gel and up here at the front are my dose of colors liquid lipsticks I love them I have them right in front because I love the packaging it's just really nice kind of like smoked glass and these are some of my favorite liquid lipsticks in this little section I have mostly like powders that I use almost every day every now and then I'll reach for this little guy and this is the wet n wild coverall press powder in the shade fair it's really good for like brightening your under eyes and this is the product I've been I was mentioning earlier that I like to use my BB cream this is a cream bronze from Sonia Kashuk. I don't know, it's just like a really fast, easy product to use. I just use like a big fluffy brush and just kind of buff that around the edges of my face. And I literally can do it like in 30 seconds. I use the Stay Matte Powder from Remmel. So this looks super light, but I usually use like a big fluffy brush and that usually works out for me. I just use it to quickly set my BB cream. To set my under eyes, I use this powder from NYX. It's their HD finishing powder in the shade Banana. If you watch my videos, you know about this stuff. Um, my bronzer that I've been using is this NYX Matte Bronzer. I'm sure if you've watched my videos, you've seen this guy as well. Um, and I've already hit pan, so obviously I love this stuff. My favorite highlighter, the Becca Champagne 
Jane Pop. Like, seriously, it, it really doesn't get better than this. This is a NYX blush. It's one of their HD blushes in the color Amber. It is such, like, a pretty, like, warm coral color. I thought this would be perfect for fall. It's pretty new, so I haven't had it for very long, but it's a really pretty color. Now we're getting into the first drawer here. I have the NYX Dark Circle Concealer. I don't really use this as a concealer. I use it more as, like, an eyelid primer. I have this uh, baked eyeshadow from JCAD, but I use this as a highlight, and it's seriously so pretty. Like, look how pigmented that is. It is so nice, especially for a highlight. Also that I've been using as a highlight is this eyeshadow from L'Oreal. It's one of their infallible eyeshadows in the shade Eternal Sunshine. It's this really pretty gold color, so it's really nice for all over the lid, but especially on your cheekbones if you like those gold highlights. This is a good one to check out. Another one of those infallible eyeshadows is this one in bronze taupe. You just bronze taupe color. Like that's exactly what it looks like. And I like to use this one all over the lid. Seriously, these are so nice to use like in the mornings if you don't have a lot of time or you just don't feel like doing your makeup. You just apply these right with your finger to your lid. You don't even have to do any blending and you are good to go. The e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow. I'm still using it. It's in the color Toast. And I don't know, it's really hard for me to find like a good cream shadow. You don't have to like it with the powder. It doesn't crease and it doesn't dry out. Like I've had it for so long and it's still, it's still going strong. This Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop in the shade I Heart This. Um, it's really, really pretty. It has a little bit of sparkle in there. Um, it's just one of those ones I can just apply with my fingers and I don't have to use any other shadows with it. Get in there. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores powder, I think. Like if your pores look a little bit larger, you're having some texture issues with your skin, this is really nice to just dust over your foundation and to use it as a setting powder because it's really going to help smooth out your skin. In this little section here, I have the NYC City Proof 24 Hour waterproof eyeliner. That is a mouthful right there, but this is just in the shade black. My other pencil I've been using for a while now is this NYX Coal Black Pencil. I have my NYC Black Liquid Liner. It's like my favorite liner of all time. My little e.l.f. makeup remover pen. This is my second one. So every time you use it, you want to make sure you kind of like rub off the excess like I didn't do this last time. And it's really nice for like cleaning up your wing liner. It's going to be really good if you're like a beginner and you mess up or even me. I mean, I've been doing wing liner for years and I still mess up all the time. And last one in this drawer is the Brow Plumper from L'Oreal. Not really a huge fan, but I still don't want to give it up on it just yet. My back is killing me because I'm like hunched over. First, I have the Maybelline Master Highlight Highlighting Blush in the color Nude. This is like perfect for every day. And if you have a deeper skin tone, this is going to be really nice for you to use as a highlight. I have one of the Inglot Sparkle Dust. You can use these on your face, body, eyes, it's an eyeshadow, whatever. I normally just use this as a highlighter and it is so, so pretty and pigmented. This matte bronzer is from Sephora in the color Los Cabos. Um, eh. It's a very neutral brown, like it's not super warm. Um, you can definitely get away with contouring with that. This little guy right here is actually an eyeshadow from e.l.f. in the color Enchanted, but I like to use this as a highlight because it is so, so pretty. Like it looks like a peachy gold color. A friend of mine mentioned this to me because I think it was talked about as a dupe for Champagne Pop, but Champagne Pop is a lot more pigmented, so... I don't know, you're not going to get like the same formula or color payoff if you were to get this one, but it's definitely really nice as a highlight and it's super, super cheap. This blush from Milani in the color Rose d'Or, I've talked about a couple times now and I really love this. It's just a really nice blush, especially for the fall time. This highlighter from Laura Geller in the color Gilded Honey, hands down, one of the greatest highlights out there if you were into those super gold highlights. It's just the packaging looks so cheap, like it's really similar to the Elf ones, but I don't mind because the product is really, really good. Last product in here, the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I don't use this for every day, but when I do, I like to do like the baking, cooking technique, and it just really helps smooth out your whole under eye area, and it looks flawless. Now, this last drawer, if you watched my last video, I had a drawer dedicated to like newer products to try, so that's what this drawer is. In here, I have um, some of the new ColourPop gel liners. I hadn't used them until today. I use them in my Get Ready With Me. I use this shade here in the color, whoops. I have a few of the NYX little lip suede. I've worn this one in the color Cherry Skies, but for Halloween, I wore 
I don't know what it's called, but it's like that more grayish blue one. And it was horrible. Like it literally was giving me butthole lips the whole night. I had to keep reapplying it. Even when I wasn't drinking or eating, it was just kind of wearing off, I guess, from me talking. I'm still gonna put these to the test and see maybe if that was just a bad one and maybe these others work good as well because there are some really nice shades. Like these shades right here, these are like all me right there. Those are my type of colors. I have two of the little Becca shimmering skin perfectors. I used one today, like I had opal up here. But I have champagne gold and pearl in here because I want to use those as well. I have two of the LA Girl Pro Concealers. I have the green and the orange. I haven't tried these out, but I love the formula. I know that already. But I haven't done a lot of like experimenting and playing around with uh, color correcting, so that's why I have these down here. Maybe if I get good at it or figure out how to use it, I will definitely do a video on that if you guys want. I have a little mini of the lip insurance from Too Faced. I have a little Lilac lip crayon from L'Oreal. I don't know the name, because it doesn't say on here. I probably like ripped off the sticker by accident and I haven't really tried these out. I literally went crazy and went on a hunt to try to find those and then once I bought it, I never wore it. Like I do that all the time. I don't know if you guys are the same way. Like you get super hyped about a product and then once you get it, you don't use it. I don't know, it makes no sense. I have this little silky touch blush from Essence. I think I hauled this not too long ago. It's in the color Autumn Peach. So silky like the name says. This Marc Jacobs lipstick, it's not a new product. I already know I love it. I just put it in here because the packaging is really bold. These two little pixie eyeshadows. I got them at Target. They were like, I don't know, maybe like 10 bucks. Um, this one is in olive gold and this one is in copper, copper sheen, sponge applicator. I don't know, but they're really, really pretty. I just haven't had a chance to try them. So I put those in there for me to try. My camera's dying. I hope it doesn't die. I got a little picture of my mom, my mama bear right there. Um, so this, oh, well, I just painted my nails. So this is the color I have on right now. The LA Girl, um, yeah, nail polish in the color Vampy. I'm not good at painting my nails, but what is that? Oh, it's powder. It's really nice and it's really shiny. NYX Angel Vault Primer. Good stuff right here. I haven't been reaching for it as often because I found something else that I will be talking about. Josie Moran Argon Illuminizer. Good stuff right here. I think they changed up the packaging, so this is probably the old packaging, but such a good, like, cream highlighter. Uh, L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. Good stuff, especially if you have dry skin. And Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. That's, like, just a really, like, intense lotion, basically. I had, um... Anastasia Pure Hollywood in this little section. Here is ColourPop Midi. It's one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. Mostly the lipsticks are like nude, neutral colors. Uh, Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick in the color Nude. Really pretty. Um, Matte Innocence from Milani. It's a really pretty like pale, really pale nude color, but I like mixing it with other nude lipsticks. CEO from Lorac. Really pretty, like, mauve color. One of the L'Oreal, no, not L'Oreal, Sephora Luster Mattes in the color Fig Luster. This one from Sephora, it's, I don't know, I guess just one of the, like, regular lipsticks. What's this name here? I don't know. Um, and I have two little lip balms, the Nivea Olive Oil and Lemon one, which is my fave, and one of the Maybelline Baby Lips. I mean, this is, like, Oh, it's a little bit tinted, but it's still like very neutral and it really doesn't show up too much in your lips, but the packaging is really cute. Um, and this is the primer that I've kind of been taking the place of my NYX Angel Veil. They're not the same at all. They're completely different. The Becca one, if anything, is a little bit, I guess, similar to the L'Oreal Magic Lumi to give you an idea. I use it under everything. I use it under these two products and it works well for that as well. These are like my little creams from NYX. So I have the BB cream and the CC cream. The BB cream is in the shade golden which is the darkest shade and it's still a little bit too light for me. And while it is sheer, I still go with like concealer and cover up areas that need more coverage. Last two things here, well I guess I, I use my NYX contour palette all the time that I have off to the side. My Smashbox primer water I use all the time before anything. Like as soon as I moisturize my skin, that's what I go in with. And then I'll usually go with my regular primer after. And then to set my makeup, it's not really a setting spray. I just like the way it makes my skin look after I finish everything. And it's the Max Fix Plus. I love this stuff. It's like little mini size. But yeah, that's that's like everything here that I use. I feel like that's a lot of products for like everyday makeup. I mean, you 
know, I don't use these every day, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see these more often, just let me know. My phone, my phone, my camera is dying. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.